Hey, what's up? You're watching The Sit Down. I'm DJ Sixsmith. Kyle Garner is here with us. Interrogation, February 6th on CBS All Access. Yes. What's going on, man? Not much. How you doing? Good to meet you. You too. So I was telling you off camera, I watched the first episode of this. I mean, you really go for it. Oh, and thanks. it's uh, super intense, and I thought you did a great job pulling Thank it off. Much. So what was this whole process like? Just walk me through the beginning. Like, how'd you get involved in the whole thing? Um, I got, you know, sent the audition, just kind of like, you know, standard. Just got an email one day, and... and um, my reps told me that there was this cool show, and, and they said at one point, I think they, were, they weren't sure what they were going to do. They were debating on doing like a younger version of the guy and an older mm -hmm. version of the guy, or you know, one person who could play 17 to 40. And um, they were like, but just read it, check it out. And I got sent, I think, the first two, maybe three episodes. And, um, and I read it, and I was just like, wow, this is really good this is intense mm -hmm. <laughs> super intense it's, uh, like you said and, and and then you know it was a really interesting challenge uh, you know to play those two ages so I, I put myself on tape with my wife's sister actually mm -hmm. she helped me out uh, thanks him and um, and then I got a call back and I read for um, Anders Ernest and John but I wasn't sure what to do because <laughs> it was like okay I have to be 17 and then 40. That's tough. So I like had, I, I was like in the middle of growing like a mohawk out from this other <laughs> movies, like my hair looked really stupid and then I was like, I didn't know what to do so I wound up with like weird like 90s DiCaprio hair <laughs> and then I was like, I couldn't, just a weird I, could, in between I was just point. like, oh god, I hope they, but um, but you know, I ended up reading for it and yeah, just trying to like look young, <laughs> I guess. It's and a then, tough thing to pull off. Yeah, yeah, and then try to look old at the same time. But no, I, I, I read for it and then luckily, usually you wait around for like a long time mm -hmm. and you're like going crazy. But I found out pretty quickly that I I got the job and then, you know, it was it was all about sitting down with everybody and kind of breaking this down and getting the scripts and trying to wrap my head around everything and, and, and you know, do the work of like, okay, now I really have to figure out how to play, you know, 17 and then 20 and then 30 and 40 mm -hmm. and, you know, that's when all the physicality stuff came in and, you know, it was a whole other side of things. So when do you feel like you got comfortable with everything? Because this is like months never, and months you're of You're never life. comfortable. But when do you <laughs> feel like you got some sort of hold over who this guy was at 17 compared to who he was at 40? Um, I think it's hard to know. I think you kind of have an idea. Uh, you, you can have some kind of idea, but until... I'm a big fan of like kind of walking in that person's mm. shoes as much as I can. So like until it was like, okay, what's it feel like to, you know, be bald and then dress differently and then, you know, see what it's like to be in the sets and, and really just kind of start feeling things out. I think it took like the first two episodes or so before I felt really like, okay, I'm I've got a grasp on things. I mean I I probably did more than I thought, but mm. it was just more like, okay, I'm comfortable now. Like, I've done this long enough right. that we can kind of, I can jump back and forth. But there were days where I needed help, where mm. I'd be like, what, how, right. What's where are here? we yeah. right now? How old am I? Mm -hmm. What's the, you know, what planet are we on? Um, it was it was tricky, because there were days I would be like 17, and then like 40, and then 17 again. And it was all about just like trying to really keep the continuity mm -hmm. of, of, of the different ages. And um, that, that, that got kind of tricky sometimes, but I, I think... I hope, I think. <laughs> no, you guys definitely or, pulled it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think the other fascinating thing about a true crime series is that you just don't know what to believe. It's like sure. you, you walk in thinking one thing, you start to watch, you think another thing. So what's it like playing with the innocent and yeah, the guilty that's, part of it? Yeah, that's also a pretty unique thing to this where like, you know, you do a show or you do a movie and you have like a through line, you have a total arc. But with this, it's like, because it's told from so many different point of views, you know, everybody saw Eric as a different person mm -hmm. or had a different idea or feeling about this guy so you kind of had to take every episode at face value or you, you you know I couldn't play him the same all the time because he wasn't the same person all the time you know in my point of view I'm pretty polished mm -hmm. you know I'm pretty put together in someone else's point of view I'm like a mess right. so it was it was really just having to break each episode down specifically and kind of come up with things like that. Luckily, you know, it was really good, like, care, makeup team, wardrobe, mm -hmm. that whole thing. That that helps. I mean, that's, you know, sometimes that's half the battle, too. Yeah. Just some makeup and, and things like that to be like, oh, yeah, he looks like trash. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, and especially just, at this point. Yeah, like, yeah, you yeah. look the part, you yeah, play the part. Yeah, and then you just kind of lean into that. Right. But um, it was. It was a different thing than 
you know, a, right, a, a, a normal show where you're the same guy mm -hmm. all the time. So it was really, it was really kind of almost like shooting 10 TV shows, right. you know, 10 different shows as 10, it's the same guy, but you know, different at the same time. Yeah, and it hits on all these different buckets. It's like what's going on in this kid's life. It's what's going on in this family's life. It's what's going totally. on with police in general. Like, yeah. what was it like unpacking that for you? Like, what intrigued you the most about all those different things? Um, I think it was, I don't know. I mean, I, I think it's just, it's, it's just a really kind of unique way of, of telling a story. And, and um, again, I think it was just the personal challenge of, of, of playing all those different ages at all those different times. Um, I don't know. There's just a lot, there was a whole lot I liked, I liked about it. Um, yeah. There's a lot too. What do you want yeah. people to know about Eric, about that character, and maybe something that we may not feel initially? Because <laughs> there's a lot to think about this guy. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I, I I don't know if there's anything I want them to know. I think I think that's kind of the whole point. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't really want anybody to know anything about him because if I I don't want to guide anybody right. in one direction. It's one of those other. shows we want to let people make feelings. their own interpretation. Yeah, 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 I have my own feelings, and I'm curious kind of what everybody else is feeling.